14, Stephen Hendrick. So Hallett still leads by 17 in the deciding frame. Position this time. But not on this red. Four. So this frame looks destined to go all the way. Considered. It could have been a lot worse from Hallett's point of view. in safest positions now. So that's got to be in Hallett's favour too with a 21 point lead. his head there. One, but, uh, if the red hadn't dropped in the pocket he would have been comprehensively snookered but <coughs> this is a little awkward behind the pink. Where's the yellow going to finish? Well, Stephen Henry back. Yes, the referee, John Street, has awarded a miss there because uh, Hallett actually struck the brown before he struck the cushion. I think the decision is slightly debatable, but nevertheless, there it is. Well, yeah, I suppose really that uh, with the brown, uh, yellow being extremely safe, White should get a little nearer than that. Foul. Four. Stephen Henry. Has he left the free ball? Free ball. But it's still uh, pinked over the centre pocket, but still wanting a very good shot from Stephen to get anywhere near the yellow. Played the escape on the yellow carelessly. He should never have left a free ball. It was a huge margin. <laughs> well, again, it's somewhat debatable whether Four. Hendry's better off fluking the yellow. And it would have been snookered if it hadn't gone in.
a good shot on the green, but wanting a better one on the brown. But uh, I must admit, the last 10 minutes or so looks as if Mike Hallett is fated to lose this final. in addition. Hallett played it, but at least the blue is, the brown rather, has finished near the cushion. Yes, yeah, one of those shots that if you take on and get it, it's the right shot, but uh, if you miss it, it could well cost you the match. the shot of a Four. Thank world you. champion. <laughs> Just the pink. Nine. For a hat trick of Masters titles. trophy for the third successive year, the 1991 Benston Hedges Masters Champion, Stephen Hendry. Yeah. 